How many slaps does it take to cook a chicken? Many people around the world have asked themselves this very question. But do you think anyone has ever actually managed to do it? Hi, I'm Stefano and today I want to tell you how to cook your food by slapping it. Ciao ragazzi, this video was written and filmed in Italian by our team of scientists, storytellers and video makers, manually translated into English but, but, dubbed with artificial intelligence. Long live culture and let's go back to the video. You might say, but stay, it's impossible to cook with slaps, but I will demonstrate that it's actually not such a foregone conclusion as it might seem. So let's get down to it and look at the data. Starting with the original question. If kinetic energy can be transformed into thermal energy, how hard do I need to hit a chicken to cook it? Let's go to the blackboard for the calculations. Alla batte la bagna! So the data we're interested in regards the hand and the chicken? The weight of the hand, or rather more than its weight, its mass, to be technical, which we can say is approximately 0.4 kilograms, more or less, so that's the hand's mass. We can then calculate the chicken's mass, and in this case we can say that it is a 1 kilogram chicken. After that we can determine, for example, the chicken's temperature, the initial and final temperatures specifically. The initial temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, while we can say that the final temperature is 200 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature at which we want to cook the chicken. As for the hand, another piece of data that could be useful to us is the velocity of the slap. We can consider 35 kilometers per hour as the average velocity. The last thing we need to consider is the specific heat capacity, that is simply put, the amount of energy we need to supply to the chicken to increase its temperature. It is a parameter called C and is equal to 2720 joules per kilogram times the degrees Celsius. So we now have all the necessary data to determine how hard a single slap needs to be to cook a chicken. The formula is as follows. Half the mass of the hand multiplied by the velocity squared equals the mass of the chicken multiplied by its specific heat capacity times the temperature difference. Now what do we have to find with this formula? The velocity? So approximately 6,000 kilometers per hour. 6,000 kilometers per hour is no small feat, it's roughly Mach 5, slightly less than the speed of a hypersonic missile. To give you an even clearer idea, there are users, I'll get closer, who have done a computer simulation of what would happen if we were to give such a hard slap. What you are seeing is the chicken in the hand. When the hand hits the chicken, you see it fragments into countless little pieces. So in short, the moral of the story is that it would be impossible to give a single slap strong enough to cook a chicken. So, after realizing that with a single slap we could not humanly cook a chicken, unless you are Chef Cannavacciolo, hello there chef, they decided to upend the question. That is, how many normally powered slaps does it take to cook a chicken? Let's get back to the blackboard. <laughs> to calculate how many normally powered slaps are needed to cook a chicken, the formula is the same as the one we saw before. Half the mass of the hand times the velocity squared, which is equal to the mass of the chicken times the specific heat capacity times the temperature difference. In this case, we no longer need to find the velocity, but we need to find the temperature difference, that is, to understand by how much a single slap can heat the chicken, in order to then understand how many slaps are needed to reach the temperature at which the chicken could be considered cooked. So that's what we have to find. The result that comes out is 0.0069 degrees Celsius. So it means that this is the temperature that the chicken increases with each slap we give it. So it would take 28,985 slaps to cook the chicken. Obviously, once the number has been calculated, would you expect people not to try it? But of course people started trying. Loads of people worldwide began filming themselves attempting to slap cook chicken. Here they are! This guy's from the US, this one's from India, there's even this guy from Japan, and then there's me here in Italy! Anyway, all over the world, people started slapping their chickens. The only one who succeeded, however, was the guy in America. Director? Drum roll, please. The chicken was cooked with... 135,000 slaps. All in just eight hours. I mean, have you understood that? It's about five slaps per second. What? We said it would take 30,000 slaps and it took this guy 135,000 to do it? Because in our calculations, we failed to consider two problems. Problem one, between one slap and the next, the heat dissipates. So in reality, rather than the 30,000 slaps we calculated, more were needed. Point two, hitting the chicken in the same spot 30,000 times would obviously leave a slight hole. 
Cooking something that no longer exists because you've disintegrated it is not really a practical option. Apart from the fact that after giving 30,000 slaps, your hand wouldn't be, let's say, in such a good state itself. But human beings are rich in resources and manage to find a solution to every problem. This is it. Yes, well, what an awesome solution. Nice. It's even a good investment. This is indeed the only machine that has ever managed to cook a chicken by slapping it. To do so, the YouTuber put the chicken in a bag to reduce heat dispersion and then created a machine that was able to slap it but without disintegrating it. So we've seen how to slap cook a chicken, but I wanted to end this video with a fun fact I found browsing the web. Cooking chicken without using an oven is a problem that predates the internet. Back in 1987, two physicists conducted a study to see if potential energy could be used to cook a chicken. What did they do? They took a poor laboratory assistant and made him go up to the 10th floor of the university and throw a chicken, or rather a turkey, a frozen turkey of course, not a live one, from the 10th floor. They then measured the temperature of the meat and had him repeat the same procedure 72 times over the next 6 hours and in so doing were able to calculate the number of times that were necessary for it to be cooked it to the right point. I want to end this video by sending a hug to the poor assistant who climbed 720 flights of stairs in one afternoon. My thoughts are with you. Well guys, thanks for watching till the end. I know it's a strange story, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you liked how we used the blackboard to do the calculations. I'll see you for the next video, always here on Geopop Everyday Science. Sorry, will you be decapitated if I do this? Yes, it was decapitated. Bye, guys. Don't try this at home.